Oh, we figured we'd go something a little more special. Got the Pappy Faf. Hey everybody, Josh and Trevor here for another Whiskey Wednesday. Another really, really special one today. We've got our brand new Laws 8-year single barrel. Uh, to my knowledge, the oldest Laws juice that's been put out to retail to date. Absolutely, um, I've, I've never seen one even close. So, yeah, yeah, not even close. Um, and we're also gonna try this year's Bourbon County Stout. Um, it's not available yet, uh, we, but we wanted to try it early and kind of give you guys some notes and things to think about as, as we do get closer to that release. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be, it'll be released on Black Friday, like every year. So. Right. Gonna look for it today, yeah. um, but um, yeah, we'll be trying it, and then we'll be trying uh, some of the varietals next week. So, so this is the um, the standard. Uh, there are also variants that uh, we might review next week, um, but this uh, HD and Wild Turkey and Heaven Hill barrels. Yeah, um, it's got a really kind of molassesy nose to me. Yeah, I get um, molasses. I get some cocoa. Mm -hmm. I get like a little coffee thing almost. Really nice. Ooh, that's really good. These guys always do a great job. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, you definitely get the bur the boozy bourbon barrel on there. Absolutely. Uh, it's got that. It's not a heat, but the, the bourbon barrel flavor. Sure, this is a, uh, a bourbon drinker's beer for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's big. You get the the whiskey in there. You get the oak, uh -huh. vanilla. I mean, it's just a big, flavorful, bold stout. That's great. Yeah, um, that's definitely worth getting in line for. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and now on to the Laws 8 year. Uh, so this barrel, you've probably heard it about it a couple times on Whiskey Wednesday. We did a, a video wishing it happy 8th birthday um, a couple weeks ago. It's a barrel that when the distillery opened, we bought and said, hey, hang on to this until we think it's ready. And Finally, it hit eight years, and we tried it, and we're like, this is ready to go. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we've, we've been trying it every year since I've been at the Argonaut, so four years. Yep. We go back, try it. Hey, it's great, but I think it'll get better. I think it'll get better. I'm also working in conjunction with the distillers there, and they kind of know when that sweet spot is. And we went and right. tried it this time and thought it was perfect, so. Yep. Man, you, you really get the that extra age on the nose. Mm -hmm. um, this has a nose of those older Kentucky style bourbons. I mean, Absolutely. It's, it's got the oak, the vanilla. It's not, it doesn't have the big grain forward notes that you get with a lot of Colorado whiskeys just because they are younger. They haven't had right. aging time, so. Mm. There's oh, just huge flavor on that. I yeah. Mean, it's it's big. It's caramely. It's um, it's sweet, but it's not like an artificial sweetness. It's oh. definitely just from the barrel, from the extra time it took to get you know to this Absolutely. point. Absolutely, long finish too. I get like a lot of I get some spice and mm -hmm. oak, and I mean a really long, pleasant finish. It's a cast definitely. cast strength, but I'm getting no burn at all. No, not not a heat. Definitely a spiciness, but not a heat. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is. Fantastic. The guys at Laws do such a great job. It's so exciting to see what their whiskey is becoming, and it's just going to get better and better as these barrels get older and older. So. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's really Fantastic. cool to see what a local distillery can do if given, you know, the time to age, like, you know, some of the distilleries in Kentucky or wherever else do. So, you know, this is kind of the first example of that, you know, save one or two other special like 10 year releases um, that we get to see and it is really exciting for what could happen in the future yeah these, uh, in my opinion these guys got a lot of great things going for them in the future I think. So, oh yeah uh, it's really great i'm gonna have another seven <laughs> that's fantastic yeah. stuff what's this one going to be selling at uh so this guy is going to be 99.99 a um, little bit more expensive but it's because of the age and and you know, we wouldn't put something out that we didn't think was worth it. And absolutely, I—I I mean, I am buying a bottle of this today, at least one. I will as uh, well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, there is going to be a limit of two per customer on these. Um, and as usual, for you know our single barrels, once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. Um, so definitely, definitely a really unique opportunity to try something that you know is could be kind of the future of Colorado bourbon or an example of that. So absolutely, really cool opportunity there. Yeah. 
Um, and then finally, um, this is gonna be the last week of our getting rid of some of the old stock from last year's Pappy and Buffalo Trace Antique Collection stuff. Mm -hmm. So we figured we'd go something a little more special. Got the Pappy, Faf or Pappy 15 that we're drawing today. Um, the lottery box is down right now. Um, the last day to get entries was November 15th, but we will be beginning to draw names soon, and it's basically just when we get our delivery. Right. We never know precisely how much we're getting, so we don't know how many names to draw until the product shows up. So exactly. That should be sometime, we're thinking, in the next seven to ten days. So. Is what we're hoping. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, let's draw a name and see who wins the opportunity to purchase this one. All right. Always with the hard last names. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Tizlau, Tizlau, but uh, you have won the opportunity to purchase a bottle of Pappy 15, so come on into the Argonaut. Hey guys, um, this is kind of the first week of getting to do stuff that's coming in for the holidays. I mean, we've got some awesome stuff coming in, cool things like the Bourbon County releases. Um, so there's gonna be a lot to kind of see at the Argonaut for, for the next month and a half or so. We've got a bunch of good stuff coming in, so come on down, give them a shot. Cheers. Cheers, guys.